Okay, welcome to the second part of uh, the Valkyra QR 350 Pro uh, review. Um, I decided to make uh, one part more, so it's going to be a three part review. Now, um, I'm flying indoors as the um, uh, the weather here is quite bad, still still snow and, uh, and bad conditions for flying outdoors, so I'm flying indoors. Now, my first impressions were the takeoff was quite easy. Uh, also, that uh, I have uh, the uh, the GoPro Hero 2 camera, which is much heavier, so I had to balance it on the gimbal, which uh, should uh, reduce the flight time. And uh, so I expect uh, less than 17 to 18 minutes, which has been reported before. Now we're one minute into the flight, and uh, everything seems okay. The uh, the quadcopter is is very stable and the gimbal is working quite nicely yet uh, it's difficult to see any movement even though you uh, move the quadcopter so it, it's working as it should I suppose uh, however when I uh, rotate uh, the quadcopter it seems to have uh, effect on the horizontal movement of the gimbal on, on the roll of the gimbal. I'm not quite sure why. Um, it's, it happens throughout the, uh, the video. Um, the power of the quadcopter is, is excellent. It's, uh, it's, it's got a nice lift and uh, it's easy to handle, it's easy to take off and land. Uh, however, I, um, I do find uh, something disturbing that uh, if you uh, look at the back of the quadcopter, you can see a green light, which uh, is, is on all the time. When that light starts to flash, uh, it's low on power. Now what happens then is it nearly immediately cuts uh, out, so you have to land extremely quickly. Now this you can see uh, at the end of the video. This is also a, f a flight time test, so I'll have the video going on as long as the uh, quadcopter is in the uh, in the air. Now, if you uh, if you are getting bored by looking at the, the flight pictures, you can uh, you can uh, go to minute 12 in the video, and there it's quite close by. Now, the flight time in total was 12 minutes 20 seconds. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's, that's that's okay. I was I was expecting a little bit more, but uh, as I said, I have the gimbal. I have um, the uh, immersion 600 uh, transmitter, and uh, also the Hero 2 GoPro, which is uh, a lot heavier than the GoPro 3. So I I, I suppose that. Uh, if I were to use the GoPro 3 and not the transmitter, I would uh, get a little bit more flight time. But all in all, I think 12 minutes, it's, it's okay for me. Uh, it's, it suits me fine. I can do everything in 12 minutes I want to do with the, with the, uh, the quadcopter, so that's okay. However, uh, I have concerns about, the, uh, about how it cuts out in the end. This is, uh, this is a problem for me. Uh, because uh, it happens so suddenly that uh, I can imagine that it would probably uh, result in, in, in a crash if flying outdoors and especially if flying FPV where you really can't see the flashing light or, or anything so, so it would be just out of the blue dropping from the sky but uh, I, I think I'll have to get uh, a low voltage warning thingy from, from uh, Hobby King or eBay or somewhere and install that into the, uh, the quadcopter because this is, uh, this is, I think this is a little bit dangerous. But uh, the review of the first flight indoors is uh, the, quadco the quadcopter is good, it handles uh, very well. Uh, the gimbal was working quite nicely except for the, 
for the horizontal um, horizontal effects when rotating the the quadcopter. Uh, next, uh, in the next review, in the in the last part, part three, I will uh, test the um, the GPS lock and uh, return to home function. I want to do that outdoors and see how well it it handles those situations. So all in all, I suppose I'm quite happy, except for a little bit lower. Or shorter flight time than I expected, and uh, um, the uh, the low voltage problem, uh, which I'll have to resolve. Thank you for watching, and uh, please remember to like and share if you like.